guys. Good morning. I hope you have a lovely day. Okay. I'm going to say this. I think we have a lot of wonderful cards here. I can feel restless energy though. Energy of just not ever being content. You know what I mean? Teach yourself to be content. Teach yourself to, because these are all learned behaviors. Okay. You can quiet um, you can quiet your mind, you can quiet your body, you can quiet your spirit, you can quiet your soul. You've got to do that because I think that what's happening here is your life is either in a good spot or you're coming into a really good spot. Excuse me, I had to put my coffee down. But uh, the problem here is that you don't enjoy those times. You don't enjoy the little times. You don't enjoy the times that are the end goal of something that you're working on right? That six of wands, it's not in here, but that card, when it comes up, that one with the person riding on the horse and the people are around him and he's, you know, just coming home from battle or, or whatever, right? Those are small victories. They're small victories in life that you need to stop and enjoy. You can't keep your foot on the gas. Okay. I got through this. I got through this. I got through this because you're never going to get through it all. You're going to get through what you get through, period. You know what I mean? So start enjoying the positive things in your life, the things that you're working for, the people around you, the places, the times. There's a lot of worry and angst in here. And I pulled an energy card and you've got to love it here. Um, we've got the four of coins coming in here as your energy. OK, you've got the seven of swords, the justice card and the higher fit card. OK, I think that you're extremely tough on yourself right? I think that we need to be disciplined. Yes, but I think you're extremely, when things are really good, you're waiting for that. You can't just enjoy it. You're waiting for the one thing that's out of balance. You know what I mean? So you want to start to just enjoy things, enjoy things how they are. Even if a little something is disheveled, enjoy it. It's part of the bigger picture here. Okay. Because I think you're either coming into something but I have a feeling here that it's not going to be as enjoyable as it might be because you're going to put fear into it. You know what I mean? This card is a is a card of always looking for something. You know what I mean? It, it's 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 always looking for something. Um, and the four of coins is is a very, very solid card. It's literally like a rock solid structure. You know what I mean? So your your finances are secure, but I you this is a card to the garden at the gate. It's a card of abundance, prosperity, and staying safe. That's within your mind. Playing it safe, though, is more like it. Staying safe. Staying safe can also be um, driven by fear. You know what I mean? Like your fear of stepping outside of something, fear of making a mistake. Um, you might be coming into a lot of money. OK, there's something coming your way and I do feel it for sure. So maybe you're in the middle of something, you know, legally or you're in the middle of you're in the middle of something here. OK. Um, karmic paths, don't let this keep you from your karmic path of living your truth. OK, what I mean, so you're probably coming into something here that is a little bit outside of your comfort zone, or you're taking a job that makes more money than something you're actually going to enjoy. Be very careful here with that card, okay, because it's saying that while you think you're safe within the gate, there's a whole world to explore there. So if you're living your life or you're containing your life within a little box, this card really tells you that it's, you know, there's a whole world out there. But sit for a moment, enjoy this, but then go on to the next thing is kind of what it's telling you, okay? Yeah, there's something I feel too coming your way. You might be leaving something behind to walk through the door. Because if you look at this card, you've got the three of swords, which is something that was blocking you. You've got the two of swords having to make a decision about it, right? Being okay with it like literally not worrying about it, being okay with it the way that it is. And the two of swords is walking through the door. You know what I mean? So this card is just, you're, you're going on to something more here, but you're, there's constant worry here. And the worry I feel is really coming from this card. This is a card too that likes everything just right. 
You know what I mean? It's a card of fairness and justice and karma, right? Exactly. But it's also a card that, you know, very tough fixed energy here. Okay. I don't want to learn something new. This is how it's always been. It's how it's always going to be. This looks right, but let me look a little bit closer because there might be something I don't see. This is wonderful. This is a spiritual path that you're on here. There's karma throughout this whole entire spread and the universe is wanting to give you something here. You're, you're about to receive something in abundance, be it financial, be it pleasure, be it a piece of something, property, sanity, peace, anything, um, whatever it is, it's coming your way, but just enjoy it. Take a moment to enjoy it and be okay with it. Okay, so that's what I've got to say here. Whenever you walk into a room, right, if I'm refurnishing something or if I'm painting something or doing something, when you walk into a room, you've got to have one drop spot. Your eyes, your body, it has to have one spot where it can just drop when it walks into a room. Otherwise, it's like walking into an art gallery and there are so many abstract things all around that your, your mind just gets confused. Find the drop spot. If you don't have one in your house, rearrange some things so that each room you walk into, you've got a drop spot and your body can go. <sighs> you know what I mean? It's crucial. It's important. Okay, so there you go. I hope that I helped you in some way. If you need a private reading, please reach out to me. I'll be more than happy to do anything for you. Okay, thank you so much.